Welcome to iPad tutorial number one, how to blog with your iPad. So it would be really helpful if we could all keep these apps on the home uh, row here at the bottom of the iPad. That way it, it's the ones we either use the most or we want to get to right away. Obviously Safari is um, we use a lot for research. Mail we don't use as much but it's nice to have if you need to email an author for permission to use something uh, off their website. The iPod I just have here, but that one is uh, probably one you don't need as much on yours unless you're working independently where you don't have to communicate with your partners and you don't mind listening to some of the classical music or Cuban music I have on here for you. These two we'll probably use every day. That's to the sixth grade Moodle that's to the 8th grade Moodle, and that launches us off to whatever project we're working on. But today I want to focus on the science blog. When you tap science blog, it takes you right to the main page, uh, where all you have to do is find your name and tap on it, and then you'll be in your blog. Now the names are going to be here. They're not there yet because Blogmeister is having some problems and they're working on it. But when you tap on your name, and it goes to your page, that's when you log in. Don't log in from here, that's where I do it, not you. Because um, if you log in from here, I don't know if it works, but I it might think you're trying to log into my page. See, it's my page, so it's got my name. So if you pinch out like this is uh, how you zoom in and zoom out, you can go in here and type. So I log in with my email, whereas you all log in, first name, last initial, the way that I um, made your account. Usually your first name, last initial will be over here somewhere, so whatever it says there on your blog, that's how you uh, type it. If you type it differently and can get in, well then that's why. So you got first name, last initial, then you go over here and you put in your password. Don't look at mine. <clears throat> now when you're in here, you can do all sorts of things. If you go to control panel, uh, and I have a few more than you do, uh, but when you go into control panel, you can do, see how a new pop-up window comes up? Uh, that's how it works. You can write a description of yourself that shows up on your blog page. Submit the description, I'll approve it. You can also upload an image. Now again, mine looks different than yours uh, because I'm the administrator. But you can upload a picture. Now when you upload a picture, it has to be small. So if it gives you an error and says it didn't upload, uh, go to picnic.com and you can upload your picture there, resize it to thumbnail size about that big and download it to your computer upload it here again and uh, it'll get approved by me and you'll have a picture of yourself And if you have problems with that maybe that'll be a, a, a different tutorial but today I want to focus on articles now when you're in here if it starts off with the graphical it'll look like this see how it's got all these um, features that are like a word processor you know, like centering and bold and underline and uh, add a picture, add a link. If you try to use one of these, you'll notice there's only a cancel button. That's all we can do. Unfortunately, it doesn't work on the iPad, so we'll have to cancel and not do that. Also, try to type in here. You can't. The keyboard doesn't come up because it doesn't let you. So you have to go, see how we're in graphical? Right here is text tap on text. This way we can type. So I'm going to go here. Let's say I'm working on biome, something that 8th graders are, have been studying. I start typing my blog right here. We have been studying oops the desert biome and then you type 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 now let's say 
I'm going to put the keyboard away. You didn't get to finish. You have to save your article. Just do me a favor. Save it, but don't publish it until you're done and you've proofread it and there's no mistakes. Because that way I don't get a whole bunch of drafts. You just publish your final draft. Now when you save it, it's gone. But don't worry, it's still down here. So I started one yesterday and I started one today. Let's say you did that. If you ever want to fix that, look what you can do. You can delete one of them. I'm going to delete yesterday's because, you know, I don't want it. And it says, do you really want to remove the student from this class? It's lying. It's not a student. It's a, it's a blog article. Well, I do want to remove it because it's a copy. See, it's gone. Um, so there, when I tap on it, I have my article back and I can keep working. So when you're done, um, some things you want to do is you need to select what assignment it's attached to. Now, since I haven't put in assignments yet, it's not showing up for me, but you'll tap here, a drop down menu will show up, you'll click on the assignment. Please always do that. Then go to publish, then save article. Within a matter of time, I'll see it, I'll approve it, and it'll show up on your blog. Once I've approved it, let's say you start getting comments. Once you start getting comments, when you are on your um, actual blog, you can see all your comments. And I've had students say, well, I got two comments that were the same. Sometimes I approve it by mistake because the person sends it twice. If you want to delete one, look what you can do. You can hide, delete, or edit any comment you get. Now, don't go crazy with the edit. You want the comments from people to be their original words or they're going to stop giving you comments. But if it's a copy, edit one of the copies, keep the other. That way your comments look cool. So you totally have the power to do that. You can delete your own um, articles. Let's say you started one, never finished it. You're not going to finish it. Delete it. You got a comment that's a copy. Delete it. And that's how you comment and write a blog. Well, no, not comment. That's how you write a blog on Blogmeister. So let's say we're done. I saved. I'm good. Do this. Tap on the number. Get rid of that window. Don't leave it open. Go back here and see what's up at the top uh, left-hand corner. Log out. Always log out so that when somebody else comes in the next class, your stuff isn't there for them to mess with. Same thing with Facebook. Now, if you're using Facebook in class for working on a science project, you got a teammate who's absent and you go on Facebook and you ask them where's their notes or something, or help me with this one and they're, they're researching at home while you're researching here, that's cool. But log out of Facebook and go, it's right there, close the window. Close the window so people don't tell me, oh, last period you had somebody on Facebook and I worry that you were socializing instead of working. So that's a tutorial on blogging on an 